Well, good morning, beautiful people, and welcome to another edition of Door to Door. This is Ronnie Fry from Doorways of Chicago, and today I'm down in Pullman, and it's a very historical day. Uh, it's their second annual Railroad Days, but it's also the historic Pullman Foundation's 50th anniversary, so there's going to be a lot of activity down here today, and right now I'm walking over to the Metro Tracks. Uh, where there are three vintage historic Pullman rail cars and we're going to take a tour on the inside of them. Uh, if you guys know my know, know me at all, you know I love my Levi hat, Levi Lego hats. <laughs> and so I always uh, do a little design on them for the occasion. So the design today is uh, some railroad tracks and a couple of antennas for the hat. So super fun. <laughs> and it's going to be a great day. There's going to be a lot of tours of a lot of the other facilities, the old factory, uh, the Hotel Florence, and yeah, stay tuned. So we're crossing the intersection right now uh, at 111th Street where the Metra stop is and just want to show you these, uh, these really cool murals that have been painted throughout the years. Uh, Pullman is also now a national historic park, historical park, uh, as long as, as well as being a national monument. Uh, this is a mural of uh, President Obama when he was involved in making the Pullman a national monument uh, back in 2015, I believe it was. So we're getting ready to walk up onto the tracks now and to see the cars. I'll give you a little tour of what's over here on the other side. Ah, this is a painting of one of the old locomotives in Salon Beeman, who was the architect who designed the entire town back in 1881. A very prolific architect, by the way. He designed, I don't know, I think there's over a thousand homes here in Pullman. And the factory and the Hotel Florence. Uh, and there used to be a, a giant arcade building, which was sort of like the precursor to uh, an indoor mall. south side of the 111th Avenue Metro stop. Thank you. 
guests to come home. Uh, feel free to enter any room with an open door. If the door is closed, Ooh, that room is not a door. door. By all means, feel free to take pictures and ask questions. Our owners love to share their cars. Uh, so we'll make a left all the way down to the lounge at the end. Have a seat. We are in the cars now, and you're going to be able to see how tight these hallways are. Uh, this is the 1923 car, it's very Art Deco in its uh, design and appearance. And we're walking into uh, one of the main, I believe you would call it a car or cabin, where they're going to tell us about it. observation cars built by Pullman in 1950 for the Louisville and Nashville Railroad, used in service on the famed Crescent passenger train which ran between New Orleans and New York City. Crescent was known for luxury as evident from this beautifully restored Art Deco interior. Uh, passenger convenience was also a priority, which is why this lounge is raised 10 inches above the typical floor height to give the best possible view uh, out, of, out of the windows. Normally this would operate on the tail end of the train and so you'd have a beautiful uh, 270 degree vista. Royal Street is what's known as a streamliner. Streamliner era began in the 1930s as advances in industrial welding and pressed steel stamping enabled car builders to mold lightweight stainless steel into aerodynamic shapes for use in high-speed trains. In addition to this lounge area, Royal Street features a small foyer, a buffet kitchen, and a general shower, dressing room, and restroom. It has five identical bedrooms, each with an upper and lower berth and a private restroom. Its current owner lives in Hernando, Mississippi and operates a number of short line railroads. Uh, as we head back through the car, you're welcome to take your time and look in the rooms. Um, when you're done, please exit this car, cross over the platform, onto the next car. Uh, and uh, on that next car, look, look, uh, peek into those bedrooms and then meet me in the lounge area on, uh, on that car and I'll tell you about that one. Does anybody have any questions before we ramble on? Is yes, sir. Is this furniture true to the car or is this something? Uh, the, the, those uh, those uh, couches are not original. Um, this is original furniture okay. here. It would have been something similar, but okay. it's, not, uh, it's not those. Yes? I'm actually curious. How do you fit? The couch through like the vestibule and everything. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Uh, carefully. Uh, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you can, um, some of the furniture can be taken apart. Uh, I know there are cars that have brought furniture in through their windows, um, which is obviously a major undertaking. Um, sometimes they have to bring the refrigerator in that one too. Mm. Uh, any other questions? There's a, there's a wee tiny door at the end of this car, believe it or not. That's a little door. Mm -hmm. uh, down there. Yeah. We don't, uh, <laughs> we don't bring passengers in uh, that way. It's All right. With the any, uh, any other questions? Okay. Um, so take a peek in the, um, the little kitchen, uh, and then uh, the bedrooms on your way out into the next car. I'll meet you there.
Hello guys. Hi. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Hello guys. Hi, how are you? Great, how are you guys doing today? This is the Colonial Craft Talk. Good, how are you? I'm great. <laughs> welcome aboard. Welcome on through. We have a whole bunch of pictures set up for you guys. Uh, our car manager is a little further down right now. I'm right here. A <laughs> little bit more information. I'm Andrea. We'll be your porter throughout the whole day, all right? Hello. Hello. Thank you. This is the Elvis oh, car. Hi. Elvis rode the car in 1960. Isn't that amazing? Hi, it is. <laughs> Would you like a sticker? Sure. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. How, how often do they take those trips? It's just a, a, by charters. Uh, oh, got it. A group that's chartered the cars. Oh, got it. Um, but we do our own trips. Like every year, for example, we go to Pittsburgh for New Year's Eve. We'll go over cool, cool. New Year's Eve. Yeah. Celebrate New Year's, sleep aboard the cars, and go back New Year's Day from New York to Pittsburgh. Great, great. It's kind of a thing we do every year. We yeah, fun. And then we're talking about going to Vermont in July. Wow. Just kind of things that we think would be fun. Yeah, yeah. And you have, a, a group you have a phone. card and a website that you say? Or? <laughs> Go to Colonial Crafts uh, Facebook page. Okay. And that'll have all the Great. Great. <laughs> Thank you. It does, it does. Right. Okay, everybody have a seat. Uh, you've now entered the Colonial Crafts. Like Royal Street, this car also hails from the Streamliner era. Part of a 95 car order that's all the standard built in 1949 for the Pennsylvania Railroad. The car retains almost all of its original Pullman features, including the original floor plan, a three double bedrooms, a drawing room, a buffet kitchen, and this spacious lounge area. Lounge seats 27 people, the bedrooms sleep 10, including one in the porter bunk. Colonial Crafts served much of its career on the Pennsylvania Railroad trains, such as the Spirit of St. Louis, Manhattan Limited, and Northern Arrow. In 1969, the Pensy sold the car into private ownership and was, it was put into charter service. Colonial Crafts has hosted some notable passengers over the years. Richard Nixon used the car for a whistle-stop campaign in, 19, in his 1960 presidential race against John F. Kennedy. And in March 1960, Colonial Crafts played host to the king himself. That's right, folks. Elvis and his entourage rode this car from New Jersey to Memphis on their way home to Graceland. Uh, as Elvis was returning from his military service in Germany. The car's current owner lives in Philadelphia and operates a charter airline service. So um, you have a few pictures uh, that you can notice here uh, in the car. The pictures are located where um, physically they were taken. So this gentleman here is sitting in uh, the seat that Elvis sat in. Uh, <laughs> See the table and see the detail there. And you see the detail there. And you see the uh, the mirror behind him. That picture was taken exactly right there. This picture is was taken over here, uh, etc. Does anybody have any questions about the car before we move to the next one? So on the uh, yes, break glass. Let me break the glass. There's a hammer and emergency tool cabinet in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> so it has to be a, a kind of a slow emergency. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. In the um, in, in more modern cars, uh, like the Amtrak cars are actually on Metro. Also, they they have the, um, the the handle where you can pull the gasket out uh, oh. to get the window out. The old ones were not built that way. Uh, so this one you have to kind of work your way out. Okay. Anybody have any other questions? Yeah, isn't that amazing? It's like what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, 
Yes. Well, uh, this would be a lounge available to other uh, Pullman passengers as well. So uh, a full sleeper uh, could be on the train, and so then they would uh, have this available just for socializing. Yes, because as you see, the bedrooms are pretty small, so that's not where you would want to spend your whole time. Uh, on the train. <laughs> Look at that corner cabinet. How cool is that? This is amazing. This is a double ensuite. That's a double ensuite? Oh, can we step in there or no? But let me get out. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know, it's so tight. <laughs> this is a double ensuite, she said. Oh, how cool is this? So we had a double bed. And Ooh, the sink. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so. Oh, so the bathroom you walk through. Amazing. <laughs> How cool. This is nice. Definitely. About the same size as our Pullman. Right, exactly. Right, right, right. This is the Pullman bathroom. Right, right. I love these. I love these little water bottle holders yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know the 
design with two master bedrooms, two double bedrooms, two showers, a dining room, an observation lounge, since we were sitting, uh, and an open rear platform. The car can accommodate 20 passengers for day travel and between 8 and 12 for overnight trips. New York Central 3 offers luxury travel, so it's not surprising to hear the cars and plate hunts to film celebrities, wealthy tycoons, and whistle stop campaign tours. Adelaide Stevenson used this car in his 1956 <coughs> presidential running in Dwight Eisenhower. <laughs> uh, more recently, opera singer Cecilia Bartoli enjoyed the car's comforts. Uh, yeah, it's your clothes. Is it hang, maybe hanging up in the car? Uh, uh, between New York and her West Coast debut in Los Angeles. New York Central 3 is currently owned by a small businessman from Fall River, Massachusetts who runs a road salt supply company. The car is stored in Albany, New York and is available for charge by the public. Does anybody have any questions about this car before what I... What year you said this was built? 1928. Is this the back end of the train? Yes. Okay. So typically this would travel on, on uh, the end of the train uh, and if the railroad business car used the senior officer of the railroad would sit where this lady is right here. Uh, and uh, you could observe out the back window, take notes on the desk, uh, write out orders or uh, telegrams to drop off at a station and things like that. You can also go out on the platform, <coughs> smoke a cigar, look at their empire, you know, that kind of thing. So, did they have that running on, on the whole thing? That engine? Yeah. Yeah, that's powering the train. Oh. That's giving us our electric power. <laughs> so it's just, it's just idling. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Um, there's a photograph in the uh, hall there of uh, John F. Kennedy and Jackie. Yes. When was that from? Um, I don't know when the picture is from, um, and we also don't know for a fact that they were on this car. Uh, they, that is a New York Central car that they're on, so maybe this one. Okay. Close enough. Close enough. But I'll have the presidents do some for their um, trips around yeah. for like okay. campaign well, trips. Uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed seeing these grand historic cars. Great. Uh, Thank you. Sure. If anyone's interested in learning more about private rail car travel, uh, feel free.